Hey, how you doing? Eric at Silicon Cigars here. So I want to do a little review today. Um, it's actually a cigar that if you just saw my most recent video with the uh, Hydra, uh, it's the humidity meter. In fact, I've still got it right here. Um, it's the cigar I used in that video to test the uh, accuracy of that little device. So go ahead and watch that if you're interested. Um, again, so you see it's already been cut because I did use this to test the two ends of the cigar to see what the difference was in humidity. But again, this is the Mano War Virtue 10th Anniversary box press. So I'll put all the details of the cigar down below so you can see all the specs on it. But I got this from my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, Moose and Connie. They, we, we have a tendency to do a lot of cigar sharing, um, which is fun because you get to try all sorts of goodies. I'm going to use my triple torch today because uh, I've been using my soft flame, but in my where I live, there's a lot of wind today. Beautiful day, as you can see, but this is uh, pretty windy. So, gonna this is again one of the advantages of a torch, in case you're wondering. So, um, and I did pair this with the uh, a nice little German beer, a little Pilsner German beer here. So, never had it before. It's actually not too bad though. Pretty good. So, uh, we had a bunch of people over from Denmark, so we had a little barbecue, and we got a bunch of Carlsberg and some different German beers. So, pretty good. We'll see how it goes with this guy. Anyway, let's get this thing going. A little toasting of the foot, as we know. Just to change the color so we can get that thing to light nice and evenly. Draw. Beautiful draw. It's a great draw. So this would be interesting, <clears throat> even though <clears throat> I, don't really, really, I don't want to pull too much away from the other video I just did about this little humidity meter, but it's funny because when I first hit the cigar, one thing I noticed is it's very bitter, which I don't like already off the bat. And it's funny because the back of this little humidity, humidor, humidity meter says if you're below 60%, there's an evaporation of natural oils cracking breaking about a wrapper fast burn and a bitter taste so it's really recommending that your cigars are between 60 and 70 and it's funny because this the first hit off this thing is it's, it tastes very bitter and the testing I did with this this little meter said this thing even though I pulled it out of a humidor that was 70% humidity it read down almost around 40% <clears throat> so that's really low so it makes me it really makes me think about a lot of things here really looking at your setup and making sure and I also like I said in my other video I got to really use this a little bit more and, and see how that pans out whether I feel it ends up being accurate or worth worth even having or not so I don't know we'll play with that but we'll see how this goes again I just lit it so it's hard to judge it too harshly yet We'll see right off the bat. It's bitter. <clears throat> and I'm and some people like that. Some people like the peppery, bittery, bitey flavor. I and I just I'm not. I'm as you know, <clears throat> if you've watched me for a while, you know I'm very into infused cigars. I like <clears throat> I like that sweetness. Um, we're not getting any of that here. Right now, I'm just getting kind of a bitter taste in like a all the way to the back of my throat, almost like it coats the back of your throat with a little being, being a little bitter. But again, now with this stupid gadget here, I'm starting to wonder: is my cigar way under humidified, even though I pulled it right out of a 70% humidity environment? So now it's got me really confused. But anyway, you still may have bought the cigar and or picked the cigar up in the state. You never know what state it's going to be in. You know. Even when you're buying it from a, a retailer, you could grab this and have it sitting in a bag for two days before you smoke it. So it's very likely, it's very likely that you're smoking an under-humidified cigar than an over-humidified cigar in in general. <clears throat> when you're taking, especially when you're taking cigars places, because it's often, if you don't, let's say, you know, if you're new to this and you you just buy one, two, three cigars at a time, oftentimes you're just going to have them in a bag. 
and uh, they'll sit around for it could be a week or less or more you know before you're gonna actually smoke that cigar maybe you bought them a week ahead of time for an event and uh, now it's sat in a bag for a week so it'd be more likely that you're gonna smoke a little bit drier cigar than you are one that's been over humidified at least that would be my experience unless you maintain your own humidity and are very careful at watching uh, all your temperature and, and humidity ranges So on the plus though, I'll say this is an amazing draw. It's like a perfect draw. Love the shape. Love the box press. <clears throat> it appears to be, you know, Connecticut wrapper. I, <clears throat> I'm actually doing this one kind of blind. I kind of grabbed a cigar that I just got from, from, from uh, Connie Moose to do this review. And I kind of did it blind on purpose. I just wanted to smoke it and see what I thought. And like I said, I'll go look it up and put all the specs. But it's looking like a... Pretty, uh, pretty well constructed. Uh, box press is great. The labeling is great. It's very cool. Um, <clears throat> looks just to be a yeah, very well, very well made scar. The cap is very well made as well. Yeah, no complaints there. It looks like a Connecticut wrapper. Um, yeah, the quality looks good. I'm look, trying to really see the. You know, you see some little different shades here and stuff, but it, overall it looks it's very, very well, very well constructed. So no complaints. And like I said, the draw is like spot on. I've had some really good cigars recently, and the draw was horrible. This is this is very good draw. And that is something to to, to pay attention to. You know, again, because like you know, I'm I'm always gearing this more towards the the newer cigar smoker. <clears throat> if you cut a cigar and you're really having to draw on it, on it hard, you're going to tend to heat up the tobacco. You're going to tend to make it a little more bitter. Um, so it, it really is important that you can try to get that draw right. And that can be a lot of times through the cut. And if it's not, sometimes you may need to ream the cigar with like a tool. Um, just to, you know, It's like a rod that goes up and down the center so you can actually open up and get it. Uh, because sometimes these are machine wound or or you know rolled and they get a little tight sometimes there's a uh, stem that's in the way and it's blocking a good path um, there's a lot of reasons that it, especially hand rolled I mean that, that you never really know how it's gonna land as well so um, it matters the draw matters it really does so when you get a really clean even draw it's nice because I've had really high-end expensive really good tasting cigars that I'm having to really puff on hard and it's it kind of ruins the experience so this is great. Yeah, so the notes I'm getting, I'm trying to trying to see what I'm getting out of this thing because I'm trying to get past that bitter part. And it, you know, I'm getting into it a little bit here. Um, I would say, I'd say getting a, Kind of a wood flavor is, is really the first thing that's coming through is it's kind of like a like i would say like an oaky like a hardwood like a like a pretty sharp flavor uh, it's not like it's not like ultra smooth it's 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 a very hard edged flavor if that makes sense And that's probably over overwhelmingly what I'm getting is kind of like that, that and I because a lot of times you get like a really earthy base to it I don't even really get that earthy base to it I'm more getting like that, that wood note that really oaky wood note um, let's clear the palette a minute here See if I can get a little retro hail going on this. See if I can. I want to pull something out. They were really, they were really happy with the cigar, and uh, they have my my brother and sister in law have really good taste in cigars, and we tend to <clears throat> like a lot of the same things. So usually when they hand me a cigar and say you got to try this, it's really good. You'll like it. They're they're usually pretty pretty spot on with that. So 
This was one I know they said they liked. Hmm. It's on the retro hail. <coughs> like I inhaled a little bit there. You gotta be careful of that. Um, I would say maybe a little nutty nuttiness to it. So I'm gonna say on a, on a first impression of what I'm getting at, you know out of this so far with that you know you can see how much I've smoked. Um, so it's still I'm into it a good. That's getting towards an inch. Um, I would say that this is more on the it's 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 more on the other end of what I like to be honest with you. It's it's a little more sharp, bitey. It's a little almost creeping into like peppery. It's that that heavy oaky wood feeling taste. It's a little bit of a nutty taste. Um, but I'd say if you're looking for anything creamy, vanilla, sweet, anything like that, it's not that. This would be the other end of the spectrum. It's it's ironic too that um, what I found with people that smoke cigars, a lot of times you are in one of the two camps. There's not a lot of crossover. <clears throat> a lot of times you really like what I always kind of jokingly. And this would be what I always talk about when I say like a traditional or, or classic cigar is there's no there's no sweetness. There's no vanilla. There's no chocolate. There's no you know any of those. That's like one side of the spectrum. This to me is on the whole other side of the spectrum where you're getting uh, that more, maybe, uh, I guess arguably more of a purist route. You're getting the the woodsy, the, the little bit of, not a bite like a pipe bite. If you've ever smoked a, like a tobacco pipe, you, they always talk about pipe bite. It's not quite like that, <clears throat> but I would say that if, see for me, it, a lot of maybe because I do photography and design and stuff, I, I tend to think of things in in terms of how they either make me feel or what they make me think of in my mind. <clears throat> and I, when I smoke something like this one, it, it makes me picture like a sharper edge, where a, other cigars that I like that are like maybe creamy, vanilla, -y are a very soft note or feeling to it. This is this is the opposite of that. This is a little bit more on the harsh, sharper side of things. I hope this makes sense. And if, I guess if you smoke cigars a long time, you'll you understand a lot of these, a lot of the ways you try to describe cigars it becomes very odd. <clears throat> and everyone does it a little bit differently. I mean, I've gotten a lot of feedback that people like the way I try to describe the cigars. I know sometimes it probably sounds weird, but uh, I'm just trying to give you. I do. To be honest with you, that's that's my whole gig with this, is I just try to be brutally honest with with my take on it. Um, and luckily, I've gotten enough feedback where, you know, clearly people have liked my description of cigars, which I'm very pleased with, because I know sometimes it comes across sounding kind of odd, but, um, but that's what I'm getting. Um, but again, like I said, I can't, man, you can't complain about the construction. I love that box press shape. The cut was beautiful. Nothing's cracking. Nothing's... You know, really well constructed in the draw. It's just you can't get a better draw. This would be like if you tried the cigar right now. This would be like the classic perfect draw, which I love because the last few cigars I've had have had such a tight draw. It really detracted from the the experience and the flavor because, like I said, as you're hitting that thing hard, and you're having to draw a lot of pressure and air through that thing. You're heating this thing up, and uh, like we've talked about in the past, cigars are meant to be. Um, smoked in a certain way so that you do heat the tobacco up but that's what releases some of that flavor and the oils and um but like anything else like if you cook a steak to a certain temperature it tastes beautiful if you cook it to where it's charred black it tastes like crap same steak you know it's really just the temperature really did affect it and, and that's true in a cigar as well So I will argue that as I'm getting deeper into this thing, so I'm probably a good an inch and a half into this now, that sharp edge is dulling a little bit. Um, it's not quite as, as harsh as it was originally, which is good. Um, it's, it's, it's 
evening out a little bit so that's great so anyway <clears throat> just so you don't have to sit here for a an hour watching me do this i will uh pause this real quick and we'll uh get a little deeper into the sky and come back and see what we think but uh anyway hang tight i'll be back okay i am back i've gotten down farther as you can see i've had to take the wrapper off which i gotta say cool wrapper they did good artwork on this i'm in the print industry so uh, impressive looks cool um and i'll say that <clears throat> now that i'm down at least probably over halfway now the, it has changed a bit so let's talk about that because i i will argue the first half of the cigar i was not thrilled because i you know me i don't like i don't like bitter anything peppery anything and that's what this was is mostly bitter But I will tell you, <clears throat> about the halfway mark, this thing smoothed out a little bit and actually now got a little bit of a creamy note to it, which I was not expecting at all. Um, so I will say on the plus side, this thing construction is perfect. I mean, this thing, this thing has not missed a beat on how it's burnt. Pretty much, I mean, maybe you can see a tiny bit there, but overall this thing has burned very well. The ash has been great, builds up nicely. Um, so you can, I cannot argue one bit about the construction of this cigar. Like I said before, the draw, amazing. Um, so I am still getting that oaky wood flavor. I'm still getting a tiny bit of that nutty flavor, but what did come over now is, <clears throat> is the bitterness dropped a bit and the a little bit of a creaminess crept in. Not a ton, but a little bit. Um, but enough to where I was like pretty pleased. That it, that it, I kind of wish this had happened from the very beginning, um, but it's happened now, and it's definitely better. Yeah, see, I'm not getting any, and out of that creaminess, I know a lot of times the cigars that I smoke, when you get a creamy flavor, a lot of times it's associated with like a, like a hint of vanilla. That's not here. It's just more almost like the smoke is a little creamier than it started out in the beginning where I would say it was a little more bitter. Now it's a little more creamy. But I don't think the notes have changed. Nothing's really been added. There's nothing really more to this than from what I'm gathering. There's not really much of an earthy base to it. There's not much more really than a kind of a hint of nuttiness and a pretty heavy, like like I said, a wood oaky type of base to the cigar. That's really what the 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 bulk of my flavor is on the cigar. Um, but I'll, I'll say too, it's not a very bad uh, aftertaste. You know, when you sit and you've had kind of a bitter cigar, sometimes you get that bitter flavor sitting in your mouth and it sucks, I hate that. This isn't like that though. The, the kind of the aftertaste of this cigar has been okay. It's been actually fine. Um, but I would say, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad, bad cigar. What I'm saying more accurately is that it's just not in my wheelhouse. This is not the type of cigar I enjoy. Um, I'll say with the construction, with the draw, with the... Um, if you like a more... If you like anything that's on the peppery, bittery, bitey, harsher side of... Because some people do. They dig that. You'd probably really like this thing. But if you're like me and you're looking more for that vanilla, sweet creamy, uh, earthy, grassy stuff I usually like, it's not there for sure. So for me, um, I would just argue it's it's not a bad cigar. I just don't think it's a cigar that I, that's really in my wheelhouse. That's, that's all. In other words, I don't want to detract away from this experience for someone who would like this type of cigar. Um, I just know that it, a lot of people that follow my channel like, have a very similar flavor profile that they like like I do <clears throat> so I would say if you're looking like it like I guess the big question would always be would I buy this cigar again and the answer for me would be I wouldn't um, not because it's a bad cigar because it's just not a cigar that hits what I really enjoy um, in fact I just realized and went into panic mode I ran out of my Isla del Souls so I'm already looking to buy another box of those because that for an inexpensive cigar that Isla del Sol is really like is the epitome of my wheelhouse is that type of cigar and this is sort of like the polar opposite 
So is is this Man of War Virtue 10th Anniversary Edition a bad cigar? By no means, no. It's a good cigar. It's built very well, constructed, burns great, draws perfect. Um, it did even out, smooth out halfway through. Um, so if that sounds like it's in your in your profile liking, it's a good it's a good cigar to, to check out. If you're if you're more on the same page of my profile range. Um, you probably won't like it very much. That would be where I'm at with this thing. And again, I don't think it, I'm not going to smoke it down. You know me, I usually don't smoke it to the very nub because really to me, past about halfway through um, and on, <clears throat> you're on, to me, you're on, you're on the back end of the cigar, not the front end. And so it's very, very rare that I smoke all the way down to the nub. But I, a lot of people do and a lot of people like that. But I noticed too, that's also where you get a lot of that nicotine buildup and a lot of times, for you new people, <clears throat> a lot of times when you get sick on a cigar, I will argue it's towards the end. Because um, I've seen some pretty well-seasoned cigar smokers that can get to the very end of a cigar and like, oh man, I shouldn't have smoked it so far down because now I'm really feeling it. And uh, So just be cautious of that. But, um, but again, not a bad cigar. I would just say it's not a good cigar for me. Um, so... Let's just leave it at that. Uh, I, I hate to I hate to poo poo a cigar because everyone's taste is very subjective. You could smoke this cigar man, and think, man, this is the best cigar I ever smoked in my life. And man, more power to you, fantastic. But I know just again, a lot of the subscribers that follow this channel tend to have a very similar uh, flavor profile they like that's similar to mine. And so for for that group. I would say this is probably not going to be one of your favorites. Um, I would argue if someone handed you one and said, hey, give this a try, absolutely give it a try. I would just argue you probably wouldn't go out and voluntarily buy them again. So that's kind of where I'm at. I do thank Honey and Moose again for giving me these cigars. Like we do trade a lot, and I think that's it's a lot of fun. If you don't do that with your friends, I think it's a great thing. I've, I've found a lot of cigars. In fact, I think the Isla del Sol, still one of my favorite budget cigars. I think that was because one of my buddies handed me one and said, dude, you gotta try this, you'll probably dig it, it's great. And man, that's become one of my go-to for sure cigars. So anyway, not a bad cigar, just not a great cigar for me. So uh, that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. This is uh, Sunday afternoon, so there's not a lot of it left, but I'm going to continue to finish this off. I'm, it's not a cigar I wouldn't I would put down and just say I'm not gonna finish it because I don't like it. I would just say it's, not a cigar I'd probably go out and buy. That's all. So. But actually, this is the first time it went out, too. That's odd. I was going to say that, too. That was one of my upsides of the cigar is that, man, it wasn't going out. This thing was staying lit the whole time. See how that hits on the relight, because sometimes relights suck. Yeah, on the relight, you get a little more bittery, and that's just par for the course. So, anyway, if you're feeling adventurous, give it a try. If you're more towards my gig, maybe don't give it a try. Um, uh, that being said, again, have a great rest of your weekend. Uh, Eric at SoCal Cigars, and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.